Hello boys and girls. Um as you can tell I've just <laughs> I haven't been up long. Postman woke me up with my new external hard drive case. Yay! So um I figured I'd do this how-to video just on here, basically how I've put it all together. I've never done a how-to video before, but this is essentially literally all you need. Plus screws which I've left downstairs because I can't bother screwed it in on cam. That'll take ages. But um I've got that which is my five hundred gigabyte hard drive. If that focuses, there you go. Uh, which I got off my mate Ryan actually for only about thirty pounds, which is bargain. But yeah, there's um, the, obviously the USB cable that connects it. That's the actual case that I'm going to be using. It's very cheap, so forgive the cheapness of this video. And that's a little leather pouch that came with it. That's not really needed, but it's there. It's nice. It's lovely. But yeah. Um, so. First thing I had to do was open the case, and I found it really difficult actually. So one minute I'm gonna have to put this down. There, yeah. there you go, a bit of a zoom thing there. But um, I found this really difficult just because this particular. Oh, there you go. I've got it off straight away. Now. Lovely. Got it off straight away. But this particular case was very cheap. Um, four pound forty nine off eBay for that, that, and that. So it's, yeah, as you can imagine, it was fairly cheap. So. I think a lot of cases uh, of these type of like hard drive cases, SATA or IDE would come uh, with this bit like all as detachable and it would just slot out rather than this top coming off. That would just slot out and then essentially you just slot your hard drive into that and then push it back into the case. Um, but with mine it's a little bit more fiddly because it was cheap. I just got to sort of put my hard drive in and then sort of push it up, up so it could, just so the pins at the end of the hard drive connect in. Um, you'll be able to see what pins basically because it's just, in fact I'll show you, I've got it right here, I'll show you. Them basically, essentially, see them pins there? This is for a SATA drive. Um, an IDE drive is pretty much the same thing but instead of slotting those into pins you'll have a couple of cables or something and it'll just slot into the same slots but it'll be pretty easy to be able to spot. You know, it's not rocket science. But yeah, so if you've got a more expensive case than I have, because you're not a cheap bastard, uh, that top bit should just slot out. And then this case will still be on, but that top should just go and you slot it into your drive and push the whole drive in through the top. Um, but yeah, so I've done that for now. Let me just make sure that's in. Yeah, that's in. And literally just put your case back on. Or if you've got a more expensive enclosure, then you just uh, slotted in and stuff and then there you go make sure it's all in place and that's it that's pretty much your external hard drive right there uh, you need to screw it in where you've got holes see? but I just haven't bothered yet because the screws are tiny and I really can't be bothered doing it on cam because it'll take me ages because there's what two uh, four six eight eight screw holes that's just ridiculous uh, obviously just plug your cable in and then plug it into your computer or laptop uh, stick this in like that. There you go. Just plugs in. Um, I my laptop's downstairs, but I could I'll run downstairs and show you if you want. If you don't mind having a bit run a bit of a run round tour of my house. But then again, you've seen it on vlogs anyway. Let me just put this leather pouch around it, which I thought was quite nice of them to send me. I mean, it's flimsy and it will probably rip in like two days, if that. But you know. Plus I need to screw it in anyway, so I don't see why I'm putting this on, but it's like tight as well. Like tight. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of grease actually. And right at the end where she's been right at the end when she's been sewed into her leather pants. Anyway, that's a nice little stylish leather pouch going on there. Yeah, so I'll um, take your photo over downstairs then, I suppose. Push my chair out of the way. Just to plug it into my computer really quick. Uh, don't look at my house. Well, you can look at it if you want, there's not, <laughs> not from where it's hiding in it though. Hello, dogs. But yeah, by the way, you can end this video, if, you haven't, if you're not used to me, Lou, move. If you're not used to me, then you can end this video right about now, because that's pretty much it, that's how you do it. I just want to prove to you that it works, basically. Uh, plug in, there you go. So now that's my hard drive. With the LED light on, there it is plugged into USB into my laptop. Uh, there's my Linux. I'm a Linux user, and obviously that you know that's a bit of a Guild Wars thing up going on up here. Um, 
I don't know how well you can see this, you know, it's a computer screen, but there's the 500 gigabyte hard disk. You know, so double click on that, there it is, empty. So, you know, it works. So, yeah, I, uh, I hope you found this instructional video helpful. Uh, I hope you've got a bit of me in the process. You know, watch some of the videos, some of the vlogs, my game commentaries are coming. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting, thank you for liking, and thank you for viewing. Uh, I said watching and viewing twice, I'm not sure why. But yeah, so I'll see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>